Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of VTD6. So let's continue with the updated series for Hawkish and uh, uh, Impopable. So right now I'm gonna uh, show you Spring Spring Impopable. Last time I did it on Hawkish. Uh, now as hero I will be using Quincy. He's the very first hero that you unlock in the game. And uh, uh, I will not be using uh, Monkey Knowledge, Continues and Powers. So once again, the strategy uh, as long as you have all the upgrades uh, and all the towers unlocked, even super beginners can use this uh, strategy to beat this map. Uh, starting up with Quincy, so try to place him closest to the uh, right side and then just play a little bit with the range until you can just drop him down. Pretty much halfway through the bottom and the top side should be, should be good enough. And Quincy is the only hero that you can drop uh, in round 6 um, because all the other heroes by being more expensive, they just uh, cost too much. Uh, you're gonna leave it on first. You can see that you can always pop all the balloons in round six. Then in round seven, very important, you need to spend the cash to get him to level two. So he's gonna have more peers, and now uh, the extra peers really makes a difference. And uh, he's gonna. Uh, this means that now Quincy can survive until you can place a sub. This map there is a lot of water and normally uh, I would say that uh, using a water-based strategy it's a pretty good uh, way to defeat this map. Just leave Quincy in first and uh, as you can see it's it's enough. So dropping a sub now uh, closest to the bottom and to the left side up here. And the next is going to be uh, just upgrading the sub 001 and 002 as uh, uh, fast as possible. Um, you cannot really afford to, um, to just get the sub like 001 or uh, to like get other towers because eventually the balloons are going to be too fast. And having this double path really uh, hurts the amount of uh, um, the amount of time you can attack the balloons. That's the sub 001. As you get the sub 001, now it's very important that you set Quincy to strong. Uh, this is going to be especially important for round 14 and 15. Because you're going to need Quincy to pop those faster yellows and uh, uh, pinks rather than uh, focusing the blues or red blends. So, yeah, remember to change the targeting uh, of Quincy. Especially here, I will not slow down because I know already that I can pop out the balloons. But you can see that the very last balloon here, red balloon, is popped around there. Uh, so it's it's pretty late. And uh, yeah, the only way to survive this round without using Queen Silver 3 is by just getting Queen too strong. Uh, now round 15, have Queen Silver 3 ready. When you see the first ping in the top side uh, entering inside the range of Queen you just want to use it. And that's, that's enough. And then uh, you can get the sub 002 and now that means that the sub deals a lot more damage and uh, uh, you can stay relaxed. So I'm gonna place right now at that monkey right here pretty much in the middle uh, in strong and uh, uh, I will just upgrade the sub to 02 so I will get advanced intel. And that's the meaning of placing this monkey because this monkey is going to give range to the sub and to all the next subs that uh, I will place in this gameplay. Uh, and therefore, as you're going to see from this round on, this sub can attack the balloons a lot earlier. And so, uh, yeah, the damage that the sub does it just goes up by a lot. All right. Quincy has camo detention, so you don't need to upgrade it, that monkey uh, to get camo detention. Quincy can deal yeah, with the camo. And therefore, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I will just place uh, a farm. In Impopable, I always like to farm uh, because of the fact that all the towers and upgrades are very expensive. So, um, yeah, farming 
So increasing the, the income that I got is always very helpful. All right, anywhere there is enough room in this bottom rock. And here we go. So we'll get this farm 100. And uh, next round is Labloons, but that is going to be easy to deal with because you just need to drop a sniper. I will place it right here so that uh, it's not going to take the room of any other towers that I will eventually place closer to Quincy. And uh, a sniper is strong, 100, and that's enough to pop Labloons. So as you can see so far, the strategy is very easy. You just need to set Quincy correctly with the correct uh, um, targeting in the early game but then other than that and using his level 3 in round 15 uh, the rest of the gameplay is pretty easy right farm 2 to 0 and now um, yeah, we'll get this time monkey 002 for round 33 there are some uh, more camos here. Of course, remember that Quincy has camo detection, so um, you don't need to get this type monkey, but I just want to get it right now, so it has more range, has camo detection, so now the, the sub uh, should be a lot stronger. And also, what I'm going to do is I will place a buccaneer here, closest to the bottom left of this uh, portion of the water. So around here. Alright, 200 zero zero, and then 220. Alright, here we go. So now also the Buccaneer has a, a lead popping power with these um, grapes uh, on fire. So yeah, that should be that should be good enough for around 36 and 38 because there are a lot of lab moves there. And so just the sniper and uh, the exploding arrow from Quincy might not be might not be enough. So just to be a little uh, you know safer. So I'm gonna actually set the buccaneer to strong and Quincy to first. So the buccaneer is gonna always target the, uh, the Lablins if they're gonna get in range. And now buccaneer at three to zero, very important, increasing the attack speed. Alright, and that's pretty much the, the first 40 rounds. With the, with the MOAB you're not gonna really need to do anything other than, of course, using Quincy level 3 when the MOAB gets in range. Uh, but that's just to just to be 100% sure you can pop everything. So set everything to first, other than the uh, sniper and of course this first uh, monkey. And yeah, the sub is gonna already damage this uh, MOAB by a lot and when when it gets in range, just use Quincy level 3 and that's it. It's very, very easy. Uh, next is getting this um, bank. So get it during round 41 as soon as you can. So in that way you can already have some cash inside. Alright, sub 203. And at this stage is where I start placing um, the villages. So normally I like always to get a village with uh, um, the monkey town effect to increase the cash I'm generating from popping the balloons. And also I'm increasing the cash from the, uh, the banks. So uh, I'm gonna place this village closest to the, uh, let's see, to the right and then to the top. So around here. All right, discount. And then uh, we'll place another village right away. Now this village should be placed closest to the right side and to the bottom. So 
So depending on how you have placed the first village, you could be able to place this village a little bit closer to the right into the bottom or maybe a little bit further away. But it shouldn't really matter that much. Because the important thing is that as you get this village placed and upgraded with range, you cover this uh, Buccaneer. You can see that it's enough to cover it, so just get more attack speed and that's it. So now both Buccaneer and Sub have more attack speed, you know, more range. Alright. Round 47 with the Ceramics getting Rage of Quincy, I'm gonna just use this level 3 to clear up the balloons a little uh, more effectively. Alright, getting also now more range with this secondary discount village. Sometimes, depending on how we have placed it, you, you could reach the sub, uh, but uh, yeah, most of the time it's gonna just be out of range. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunately, but that's just normal, right? 204 um, sub, round 49. And also when these ceramics again get in range of Quincy, just use this level three. So this is gonna be the monkey town and monkey city village. And this one instead is gonna be a a camel detention village very very important for round 51 because otherwise um, you might not be able to pop all these ceramics camos even if the sub has camel detention Quincy has camel detention but yeah those uh, camo ceramics are, are always a pain so do not take any risks just get this village with, uh, with camel detention so see here I can collect now the farm I was very close at getting for um, uh, 7,000 cash, that's the maximum the bank can hold. So now we'll place, let's see, a farm here. It's very weird, I can place it closer, but yeah, whatever. Uh, closer to the right and to the bottom. Yeah, this is very weird, I know what, why I can't place it closer, but... Anyway, like this, all right. Uh, 230 and let's go So now the next thing to get is actually to get this uh, Buccaneer 420 to have now uh, a little bit more of global um, damage with these aces that will be um, you know flying around doing damage and also they're gonna have uh, anti moab missiles so you're gonna be able to pop these map class balloons a little sooner um, and yeah it's just the, the the best mid game tower until you can afford either sub commander or uh, the carro flagship to uh, to survive you're gonna be able to get these upgrades in for around 63 and that's just uh, what you need pretty much. You already have a camo lad popping power because of Quincy and because of the fact that this Buccaneer is in range of the village so it has camo detection. Remember you still have the um, the grapes on fire that can do uh, that can pop labyrinths. And here it's just about uh, saving the cash, really. Of course, this bank, uh, uh, these banks are going to be full before round 63. And therefore, by collecting them both, uh, when they're going to be almost full, or I think maybe completely full at 7,000, you can get already 14,000 cash just like that. And that's going to be more than enough to reach this 30,000 mark to get uh, one of the two upgrades. You can go with whatever, with the one you prefer the most. So I'm gonna use Queen Silver 3 here, right, to pop these camolets a little bit more efficiently. Um, remember that uh, uh, there are some regrows there, and you cannot pop the regrows uh, because the lab can destroy your projectiles. So remember to um, always remember about that. 
as I collected here the banks I'm not gonna place more because I'm pretty close at 30,000 and uh, um, and yeah, in this case, what I'm gonna get is gonna be this carrier flagship, all right? That's gonna be the fifth, um, the fifth tire upgrade that I will get. Mostly because of the fact that it's gonna already boost the other sub, um, because you can see that it increases the attack speed of all water-based monkeys, and therefore I'm not just doing more damage with these aces uh, and with the buccaneer itself, but also doing uh, more damage with the sub. Instead, if I would have got the sub commander, I would only have received a bonus to the sub itself. The buccaneer would have stayed uh, the same. So that's uh, that's pretty much the reasoning why I got the buccaneer first rather than getting sub commander. And also another thing that is pretty cool that I will uh, that maybe I'm gonna use. I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be that the the Buccaneer provides here this upper decks where you can actually play some towers in spots where you normally you 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 could not uh, place towers and so uh, yeah it's very nice. For example, here I think I should be able to give the the view to the to the to the to the sub. So it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, anywhere really should be should be good enough. All right, for one, I'm strong. So I should be giving it to the Buccaneer, of course, to the sub, and maybe to Queens as well, because I have this uh, Alchemist in range of this extra attack speed village. So by boosting the attack speed of the Alchemist, you can buff three towers. All right. So next thing is uh, collecting once again these banks, and then, very importantly, get Monkey Town and Monkey City. Uh, so I can have more range. I should be able to reach now the sub. Um, and uh, if I have any remaining cash, I can just keep on placing banks. I will try to place as many banks as possible in range of this village so that it will be discounted and as well, they will be giving me uh, more uh, more cash. So here we go, banks full. So let's do this, one and two, and uh, let's try to start building another farm. I don't know how, um, if I will be able to get it, two, three, because I don't really have a lot of cash, but let's see. One, two, three, yeah, one, three. Yeah, that's pretty good, good. So I can get it to three during the round. So I got now three banks and see all these banks are in range of this monkey see the village so they are generating 10% more income and so I can collect the farms uh, one run earlier um, not fully so not at 7,000 but at uh, 6.5 thousand if I remember correctly but yeah despite that uh, uh, the fact they can collect one run earlier means that every um, I get more cash overall so that's the that's the reasoning so now this sub is in range, nice. And let's see, I should be able to place a farm here. Yeah, in range of this village. Probably another one right here. And then let's see, uh, another one. Yeah, another one. Maybe just uh, one, two, three, and four more. So that should be seven banks. Normally that's a pretty good number. So I will, I will keep it. Uh, yeah, let's sell this uh, sniper now. This monkey just 002, it's enough just to uh, make the sub attack a little sooner. That's all I want, really. And uh, now at this stage, uh, I might, uh, I might even avoid getting a sub commander at all. I could just get here a an ace, exploding the fact that this. Fifth upgrade right here also increases the attack speed of monkey aces, so um, yeah, I could I could use that and I could get a fifth uh, tower upgrade here in the bottom, so the flank fortress uh, to do a massive amount of damage and to just uh, you know, destroy the last uh, the last rounds uh, very very easily. So yeah, let's do that. Let's get this ace right here. 
Um, well, actually, I don't want to spend too much cash because I wanna. I'm gonna just get this ace like two zero three. Of course, uh, not center path because this is gonna make you lose a lot of potential damage. Just make the ace fly um, closer to the to the to the end. So I think this is this should be the best. Uh, and yeah, I said before that I really wanted to place a farm here, but I think it's gonna be better if I place a, an ace. Because if I don't, uh, if I place a farm there, then I, I can't place this ace anywhere else in range of the alchemist. Like I would need to freeze the water and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, let's not complicate things up. So we'll keep it very simple. Uh, all right, you can see here 6.583, you can collect for that amount. Yeah, let's actually place as many banks as possible first. And then I will upgrade uh, the ace and I will get the, um, the Spectre. Alright, let's see here as far as possible. Here. So that's four, that's five. That should be six. And let's see, can I get another one? No. Alright, whatever. I will place it anyway. So that's seven. So I think seven is a pretty good number uh, of banks, you know, in order to afford this uh, uh, fifth upgrade. That it's pretty expensive, but having seven banks, then I can always like sell them to uh, to get the extra cash. So yeah, uh, ZMG very easy, um, and of course now Super Ceramics. So that's the Spectre. I think uh, this ace is actually being buffed by the alchemist over uh, over Quincy. I think now Quincy is not being buffed anymore. So Buccaneer is being buffed, sub and uh, ace. So yeah, that's perfect. Uh, another thing that I wanted to get is uh, a an MAB because I don't remember entirely sure if a Spectre can pop DDTs. Um, because like DDTs are both black balloons and lab balloons properties. So with the with the missiles, you know, they create explosions, so DDTs should be immune to that. And then with the darts, DDTs are like lab balloons, so darts shouldn't be able to pop them. And also I don't remember if the Buccaneer can actually pop uh DDTs. so yeah because of all that i'm gonna just get mib here all right let's just go safe it's just mainly for ddts really i'm not really getting this mib for any other reason and of course i have queen c level 3 or queen c level 10 that i can use i have his abilities right now he's pretty useless because of the fact that all these towers have uh, uh, global range so they can attack uh, the balloons right from the beginning instead Queen C is just forced to wait until the balloons are in range of him so let's check out here the the banks when I see uh, 6.5 I uh, will collect so it should be at the end of next round so at the end of round 89 so the banks should be almost full Be ready to collect. There we go, collecting as fast as possible so that then I can earn the, the extra cash in the, in the next uh, new round. Right, so that's 81.5 thousand. Flying Fortress is 120 thousand. So I can, uh, uh, let's see, each bank here sells for 5.8. Um, yeah, I can, I can actually sell. So all the all the banks already to get this flying fortress, but uh, the fact is that I all also want to get a perma brew. So I will get a perma brew now. So that is gonna increase the total damage that this ace, this sub, and the buccaneer can do, because these are all towers that attack very quickly. So they consume the alchemist buffs uh, very quickly, and so uh, these are the towers that mostly benefit from perma brew. So yeah, why not? Let's do that first. 
So I can collect uh, uh, one more time. I should be able to collect in like round 99, if I remember correctly. Like round 98 or 99. Uh, so before the BD. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I will be able to get the Flying Fortress for that, for that time. Let's see, maybe I can get it even sooner. Uh, so let me see here. Well, actually, each each bank of these ones that I placed afterwards in range of the discount village only sold for 50 hundred cash. So 50 hundred uh, times seven is uh, um, 3,500, hundred, right? 5,500. Then if I sell also this village, uh, 3,500 plus this is 4,800. 48,000, sorry, 48,000 cash. Um, so almost 50,000 cash. And then let's see how much cash I have inside. 20,000. Yeah, that's that's not enough. Even if I sell all these banks and this village, uh, I would not have enough to get this flying fortress. It's very expensive. All right, let's see how run 95 goes though. Will I need to use Queen Silver 3 here? Um, yeah, let's just use it actually. These DTs were pushing a little bit too forward. Alright. So yeah, the banks should be full at the end of round 98 actually. But let's see if uh, somehow I can collect before. So I already have 31.5 thousand inside the banks. So I have 50, 53.7. Yeah, maybe this is already enough actually. Because, uh, yeah, it should be enough. So I can stop here. So let's see if my math is correct. Uh, so I'm gonna sell here with all the cash inside. And yeah, that's enough. I don't even need to sell this Monkey City Village. I can keep it more rounds. And yeah, that's the uh, Flying Fortress, that's the big plane. So now you can see three lines of missiles. Uh, so you do like triple triple damage. Plus of course the fact that I think the damage itself of all the all the attacks from the Ace uh, have uh, increases with the, with the upgrade. So yeah, you don't need to really worry about anything. These are the fortified DTs and then that's the BD. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and you could use this strategy to beat Impopable on this map without using monkey knowledge, continuous and powers. And see ya, bye bye.